Okay, now we will start another subject called binary codes, right? So in digital circuits, we might be representing numbers, but we also need to represent digits, colors, many more things, right? Elements, some states, we will be doing some state machine design, some conditions on, off, hot, warm, some actions, etc. So to represent this, if we have n bits, so this n bits will, will give us 2 to the n binary number and using this n bits I can represent different state conditions and actions right let's say for example I am doing some image processing right so in the image processing I need to represent the colors let's say I come up with some color representation and I am trying to represent red orange yellow green blue and violet okay so how many colors i have i am trying to represent only six colors i'm not representing other colors so now to represent these six colors how many bits i need to have so for represent them i need at least three bits right so i can say just i am making up all these representations so this is my design and i am just assigning these numbers so i am saying 0, 0, 0, 0 is representing red 0, 0, 001 representing orange so i can say i am re representing yellow with 1 1 1 for example it's up to me i'm just assigning some codes to that green maybe i am using 100 zero, zero. blue i am using let's say zero one zero and violet i might be using one one and zero so this is a code that i came up okay i made up so i if i am a designer i can make a circuit such that i can represent these colors with these numbers right so this is a binary code that i made up to represent some colors but this is something that i make up right but there are some standard binary codes to represent different conditions actions elements and states right for example there are some standard codes let's look at some standard binary codes for representing decimal digits so in this case instead of colors i am trying to represent decimal digits so what is the decimal digit so we have 10 decimal digits right so these are 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and nine. so to represent these decimal digits i will be using some binary code so this is a standard code and this is called binary coded decimal so the name of the binary code is binary coded decimal and it's also called 8421 representation so basic i am using four bits to represent a decimal digit because i need to use at least four and to make easier for everyone because this is a standard code it seems it's like a normal binary conversion one one here and zero one zero zero here zero one zero one here zero one one zero here zero one 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 zero zero here and one zero zero one here so for this 10 digits i am using these four bits and then each has a specific representation of a digit so this is called binary coded decimal right so i could have come up with another method let's say i can say this is an ibu code right and i can definitely say i might be using one 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 four zero 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 one one four one one zero 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 so i can make up a code myself right but this is not logical so not very useful right because it is hard because there is no logic behind this right why do you assign one 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 two zero it is not very logical but this makes more sense okay so another binary code to representing these decimal digits are two four two one representation so in this case i am changing the weights instead of eight i am using two so two four is similar to binary code decimal two and one is similar so only the weight of this the third bit is has changed so in this case i have zero zero one here zero zero one zero here so it is very similar to bcd but it will be changing for some higher bits zero one zero zero so this is four so this is digit zero one 
two, three, four, and five. So five, I will be using, so this is a weight of two. I will be using zero here and one here and one here. So the idea here is, so the weight two here, another two is four, and one here, it is five. So for six, I will be using one, 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 two, one, four, and zero, zero. So this is six. For seven, I will be using one, two, one, four, and one here. So this will be representing seven. For eight, I can have two, four, and two. So this is eight. And for nine, I will be having one, one, one. So these are the four bits in two, four, two, one code to represent 10 digits. So in this case, I have only one option to represent nine, but for example, for two, this is one option. Another option could be, right, one, zero, zero, zero. So this is also, it means two in this two, four, two, one representation. But as a standard, this option is selected and we didn't select this one, right? So why is this? So there is a logic behind this assignments. This is called self complementing. So it means zero and nine is self complementing. If you take complement of zero, you will be getting one, 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 one. And similarly, one is self complemented to eight and two is self complemented to seven. 3 is self-complemented to 6 and 4 is self-complemented to 5. Okay, so for some applications, this binary code might be more advantageous. Okay, so there is some logic behind this and this is called self-complementing and it is 2, 4, 2, 1 code. So we have also XS3 code. So now I will be deleting this IB code. And instead, I will be writing another code here. So these are the binary codes, some standard codes that everybody knows to represent decimal digits. So this is called XS3 code, 0011. So this is representing decimal digit 0, okay? So actually, I am adding 3 to 0 to get the code. So to represent 1, I have 0, 1, 0, 0. So this is 1 plus 3, which is in binary 4. So this is to represent 2, 0, 1, 0, 1. 2 plus 3 is 5. To represent 3, I will have 0, 1, 1, 0. To represent 4, I will have 0, 1, 1, 1. To represent 5, I will have 1, 0, 0, 0. For 6, for 7, for 8, and for 9, I will have one zero zero okay and this is called xs3 which means i take the decimal digits and add through to it and then i convert to binary this is how i come up with this xs3 code and one other code that we can use is called eight four eight four minus two minus one code okay so the weights are eight four minus two and minus one so to represent zero all weights are zero to represent one i will have zero this is one four one minus two one minus three so the result is one so for two i will have zero one one zero for three I will have 0, 1, 0, 1. So 1, 4, 1 minus 1. It will give me 3. To represent 4, I will get 0, 1, 0, 0. To represent 5, I will have 1 here, 0 here, and 1, 1 here. And you can fill out the rest, right? For 9, I can have 1 here, 1 here. This is 12. 1 here, 10. And this is, this makes 9. So this is 8, 4, minus 2, minus 1 code. And there is one more popular code, which is called gray code. Okay, let's see the gray code. So 0, 0, 0, 0, 4, 0. For 1, we have 0, 0, 0, 1. For 2, we have 0, 0, 1, 1. For 3, we have 0, 0, 1, 0. And for 4, we have 0, 1, 1, 0. For 5, we got 0, 1, 1, 1. 
zero one zero one six so this is seven eight is one one zero zero and nine is one one zero one so this is called gray coding to represent decimal digits and there is a specific logic behind this representation what is this so if you look at this going from 0 to 1 there is only one bit is changing so this bit only changed from 1 to 2 only this bit changed and the others are the same right so this one is same as this one so these are the same these are the same so to go from 2 to 3 again there is only one bit has changed right which is this one so all these three bits they are the same so the logic in the gray coding is if i go from 2 to 3 3 to 4 only single bit is changing so this is only single bit is changing if i go from one representation to the next representation between neighbor codes only single bit is changing and there are some applications if you use the gray coding in that applications it is useful to minimize the error so there are some applications that gray code is more advantageous than other codes so instead of using xs3 if you use gray code in that application you will get a better performance okay so these are the codes to represent digits so let's do an example so I will ask you represent decimal number 396 in binary coded decimal representation or code. So this code, it represents digits, right? It's not representing the number. So how do I represent 396 in BCD? So I have 0011 to represent 3, 1, 001 to represent 9. And I have 0, 1, 1, 0 to represent 6. So 396 in decimal is equal to 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0 in BCD code. Okay. So this is not two's complement or not unsigned binary, right? So this is a different representation or different code. We call it binary code decimal okay so don't confuse these representations okay so this is called coding so this is how we do the coding we code this number but if i say 396 10 and then i ask you the binary representation this is called conversion okay so i convert the basis from base 10 i go to base 2 so this is the the same 396 in the binary base and this is called conversion so we said we can use this code to represent some states so let's say i need to design a simple traffic light controller for an intersection so this is north south west and east so i am designing a digital circuit to control these traffic lights so i need to have some states to control this simple traffic light controller application so then i need to have some states here so this could be in one state or one of the conditions north south is green okay north south is could be yellow north south could be red east west could be green east west could be yellow and east west could be red so i need to assign some codes right so if north south is green if this is on all the others will be off but east west will be this is off off so this will be on right east west red north south is green so if i have yellow on the north south so they are also off so let's say if i have this is on maybe i will have this is also on. both of them is red at the same time there could be some such state and then i will have this on 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 here red then we will have yellow here right and then we have green here okay and there could be another state where both of them is on again on on again so these are off so to represent these states i can assign for example 0002 this state 
zero zero one to this state zero one zero to this state right zero one one to this state why i am using three bits because i have six different states so i can use only three bits and one zero zero to this and one zero one to this state right so these state assignments are up to me in this case as a designer i can select my states but of course i can change this state assignments okay so one more code that we use is the ascii character codes right so in your computer when you type something on the keyboard right we need to represent each character on the keyboard with a code and this is called the representation that we use is the ascii character codes so this represents numbers right letters symbols and some control commands right such as escape right and it represents 128 characters and symbols so to represent 128 different characters it uses seven bits actually it uses a eight bit with most significant bit is always zero so the first 32 characters or codes are used for the control characters okay for example 08 so this is in hex representation so this is for the backspace so 18 so this is for the cancel 1b so this is for the escape okay so these are total 8 bits right 2 bits in hex it means 8 bits and as you see always the most significant bit is zero in these cases so there is this ascii table that you can look at there are many of them so for example 30 in hex it is representing number zero 31 in hex it is representing one 31 in hex it's representing not 39 so in hex 41 representing capital a 42 representing b and 5a in hex it's representing capital z and 61 for example it's representing a 62 b and then 7a it is representing lowercase z so you do not need to memorize this because it is it will be given in a table so but this is how we can represent the characters or some commands in our keyboard